Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Airport CO. Um, yes, in the last episode we kind of figured out the remote stands and got this kind of working by removing that and do, figuring out our logistics. But an interesting thing I saw just after I finished is that it's still now saying that only um, 11 out of 12 points is being used, which means that it's been rounding down something. Because if we're saying 5 times 1.5, that is 3, 4.5, it's 6, right? Plus 4 gives us, what? No, 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 5, 5 times, so it's, it's 2, 4 of them is 6, 5 is, um, it would, would, would then add 1.5 extra, would be 7.5 um, plus 4 gives us 11.5 so it's, we're at 11.5 but so that now is saying that we could potentially open this one up but we what we needed to do so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try and see if that'll work so this one if we say that's back and if we say connected oh -ho, we've got that sorted out so a5 is back in business and we'll just have the one ga spot over here um, just have a quick look if we've got a five not showing up but that's all good switch it on right it's got its stands it's got everything a five is now appearing I don't mind you auto scheduling because we'll use only um, a nine R as our emergency stand for both uh, medium and small planes and that's gonna be it this guy, I'm gonna say GA and open that up. So interestingly, we're actually cheating it a little bit by putting five and five. So that means you can do, do five medium stands plus five small stands, but you need to connect the medium stands first, and then you're actually gonna end up with, uh, with a 12 pointer. So it's probably a little over capacity for this airport here, but it's gonna be all good. Now, um, Let's have a look at what uh, the rest of our planning is going to look like. I'm quite comfortable with this setup here. Um, in order to facilitate that, um, I'm going to go back into, into planning mode. And then we're just going to make sure that we put our, our access pieces in here. Ooh, excellent. That's actually quite cool. Um, if we're just going to run... No, <laughs> it's not going to work like that. <laughs> found that a little funny there we go like that like that but we don't need all of these access points so potentially we can clear off this one and just have a few um don't need all of that but we may as well we could even see about squeezing in Ooh, it's going to be a little tricky we might have to rationalize it a little bit if we open up uh to for the rest of this there we go and nope and there we go awesome so that's going to be super cool uh, to put all of that in place. Now, what will we do is we'll also kind of slot in a little something over here. And what we kind of thought we may do is we may... I'm not sure if we do this. Right. If we do this and we do that, yeah, that's not actually going to work. So let's clear that out. out. Um, we could potentially, yeah, we could just squeeze two of them over here. And I think if we do that and, ooh, hmm. Okay, hang on, okay. Let's see what's happening over here. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Goose wings fly. GW weight class small is experiencing weather warning emergency and requires unspecified assistance. Refusing or failing will handle the law, all of the, that good stuff. Now, it's popping in. Now, I believe we should be able to, to, to slot this little guy. Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Pause the game. I believe we can allow... small planes I believe we can allow small planes right can't we where is our settings they I believe I'm, I'm sure we could have done that I will have to 
quickly have a look over here. But I was very sure we could do that unless I was thinking of a different airport game. <laughs> In which case, it's not great. Airport control, airport open. I thought we could. We definitely can here. Ah, uh, it might be this. I might be thinking about the runway. How come we can't use this stand for domestic flights? Yeah, that's all good. Repair cost site upgrades. Uh, oh, crap. This is not good. I really thought we could. Can't allocate this flight to this one. But we could squeeze it in there. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna fail this, of course. Um, unless I can I cancel this flight. Well, there there we go. So I'm gonna grab it and put it in here. This is A1. Let's just have a look. I've already cancelled one flight. A1 is leaving. Okay, so I can... There we go. Confirm. Please come on in over there. Okay, so I've managed to sort that out. But that is unfortunate. I really thought we'd be able to squeeze it in. So that means I don't want that to be... I need one of these guys to not be... Um, not be uh, running it this way. So I'll do that. Switch that off. But that feels like such a super waste of stuff, isn't it? That just feels like a major waste. To have a stand available. Or the alternative. The alternative is to go up here and say, schedule them at least a certain amount of time apart. Is there, is there anything else we can do to try and... Oh, hang on, over here? No, doesn't actually allow you to, to do a different, a different stuff. So that's really unfortunate. That means we're allocating multiple stands to different flights. That small flight could certainly, this one, right? This one coming in here now could certainly go and park there and be serviced. There's no problem. There's no problem. We can just run it through there. That would have, been the mo that would have made the most sense. You just have one stand there allocated to it. But that is a bit of a challenge then for us. Okay, so unfortunately, that's not quite what I was after. Now, what I wanted to do is start thinking about the rest of this. There's a fair bit of money available to us. Okay, just one more thing, actually, before I go to do that. I still need to allocate a few more staff members here. So let's see about hiring more administrators. And definitely do that. And an ejector for you. I should be able to hire these two. And then waiting for, waiting on two more. Ooh, that's a good one. And I'm waiting on one more. Speed things up a little. Yes, another good one. And now going over here to administrators, just double checking that I can train up a few things. We handled the, the weather problem, so all good over there. Anything else? There's a little bit of training there. There we go. Oh, here as well. Train, train. There we go. Nice. That's all good. Now, now we can go back to operations, back in over here and say, we can allocate two things over here. So we can do a staff productivity boost, I believe. Oh, what what's happening over here? Okay, well, let's... Let's definitely do the staff productivity boost. And then the marketing one um, should give us increased in, in, uh, in stuff and then increased passenger satisfaction. Uh, we've got a pretty high passenger satisfaction altogether. So let's go. Oh, we need five more administrators. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's do another round. One, two, three, four, five. Five, okay. And if we go over here to the administrators, uh, see if there's anybody 
needing a bit of training. Oh, there we go. The rest is all good. There's no, literally no one on the light green category. Okay, so that's all good. So now go back into our piece over here and the next piece goes into marketing. Now we see we've, we're allocating as much as we can to some work. Um, okay, good, 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 good. Now, planning out the international component of this is gonna be quite interesting. And one of the things that I am wondering is I thought we could potentially move this down this way, but I think what we'll do instead, that's okay. That gives us a little bit extra room in here. Whether we're gonna need all that room is, um, is of, of interest, of course, but I think what we'll do is let's at least kind of build it out into, up to here. Um, okay, that is quite interesting. So what I thought I'd do now is I thought I would actually run a section underground. But before we do that, before we figure that out, let's uh, let's put our stuff in here. So let's do some planning. Uh, we would like the this one. For the large guys, I think we're just gonna keep doing this, right? Yep, there we go. Um, I wouldn't mind kind of just getting rid of all of the water there. That water component needs to really go. Ooh, we're seeing some some lag issues. Okay, there's no other water issues there. Oh, there's one piece over here. Well, I'll get rid of that. Ooh, interestingly enough, we may run into a little bit of problems with our our access point on this side. If we do that, okay, what was our, just kind of thinking, what was our, um, our full um, widths? Okay, so for the, for the large guys, I'm just having a look on my notes here. For the large ones, we need um, a nine, hang on. Let me just double check this. So for the large ones, we need nine. Right, so seven, seven was a, a pretty decent, a pretty decent one. And then we just needed to make sure that we kept it clear for up to at least eleven, or for the outer engines, or fifteen for the wings, so fifteen for the super large ones, but seven was wide enough in terms of the taxiway. So let's just grab basic taxiway stuff here. That is seven, right? That is seven. So we'll do this. Okay, and we'll try and run it down there. So if we're doing that. Okay, so that means seven, nine, 11, yeah, so that, um, ramp agents scheduled, okay, that's okay, that's not a big deal, they'll just move it to a hangar, there is a hangar available, I'm pretty sure, so if we then do that spot there, that is, um, so that's 7, that's 11, and 12, 13, 14, 15, that's uh, 15 over there. So that's, that's basically, that's basically the width that we're gonna, gonna, gonna have to have. And that and that. So that should work and they shouldn't clash with the other ones. So that's really what we will need in terms of our taxiway. And that also, gives us the appropriate space for taxiway from the from the if that for, for flights on there so that's the minimum requirements that we're dealing with over here so let us have a quick look at running in the planning side of things running this through the seven through to the other side 
Okay, seven, seven, so there we go. So that's our basic requirement in terms of getting the major flights off, uh, off of it. So what we will now need to do is find out how we're gonna allocate this to some kind of terminal building. So one of the things that I thought could be quite useful is for us to potentially just continue it um, along this way, okay? And we'll do that and see what that looks like. And I, I kind of like the idea of having a little terminal structure in here, well, a satellite terminal with, a, with this going all the way around. So if we go a little bit further down, and I can I can calmly sort things out a little bit later. So up to about there, right? And then seven up there. And just, just so that we kind of sort out our planning a little bit. So with that in mind, now the next step I want to just do for the planning side of things just want to put in some of these things so we continue to um, monitor our spacing. Um, so there, there, there. Okay, so that's kind of our spacing requirements here. Um, similarly, we will do that as our spacing requirement. So any stands have to be further away than that and they have to be that far apart. So now let's have a look at what we can do with these stands. So if we do, they definitely need to be like up there as a minimum. So we can potentially do something like this, or we can start it off in the middle. But let's, let's I, I definitely wanna put it in here somewhere. Yeah, so we could we could do that. Uh, it's a little close on this side. I don't want anything on here. We are oh, the hangers. The hangers could go on the edges there. So if we let's let's see about a hanger. If we're gonna do let's say at least a couple of hangers. If we do this, okay, hanger on the one side, stand, large stand, yeah, that's, uh, actually this could work, this could work, I don't, I'm not, I'm not opposed to this, this could work, okay, so if we do that, we do three stands this way, Okay, and I believe that'll give us another hanger on the other side. Let's just double check that. Ooh, does that give us another hanger on the other side? Uh, not really. Not really, unless we encroach a little bit. Unless we do that which is going to be just not quite good enough, right? I need it to be at least there. Okay, well, we can't move on this side. So if we're going to do that, rather give us actually even one more spot. So let's do this, okay? And then I'm going to move this thing over. Yeah, you're going to have to bear with me on this one, guys. We're going to move that one over. And we're going to trim two off there. Okay. That is still a little bit. So let's do two more. You have to bear with me. We're going to try and get this done perfectly. Or at least try. We're going to trim two more off. There we go. Get rid of that. Um, grab this hanger. Um, well... Get rid of it is the is what we're saying. And place it like that. I think that's what we're saying. Now the stands, let's reallocate our stands here. So 
So I'm kind of thinking that's what we want to do, right? Or was that a little closer? We do there and... Yeah, we'll have to move that one over by one more, I think, in order to get this nice little shape in here. But ultimately, I think that's about what we want to do. Okay. Um, let's try moving one more. How many is that? That's just one away. So let's just move it one more over. And then that's actually not too bad, not too bad at all. We'll move it over by one more. I actually like how I'm, how I'm planning this out. Okay, drop that away. Now, do we... Do we do this? And presumably we can put multiple hangers in here. Right? We can do multiple hangers like so. And that should work. And then <clears throat> the next thing is to get another stand over here. Oh, I see. That's not quite... That's not quite the plan, though. Because, let's face it, if we are going to run the road, <clears throat> this one... I be, uh, that would work, though, right? But I'm kind of tempted to just make sure it's better than that. So two more spots over. This is going to be a pretty decent sized terminal building anyway. And then it's going to come through that there. Six spots will be two, three baggage bays. So we'll have to find three baggage bays. I think this area is going to look pretty cool, especially when we run it all the way around. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll see how the rest of that works. But really, the idea is... Um, the game isn't paused, right? We should be making money. Uh, I can make, obviously, speed it up a little bit. What are we missing out on staff? Janitors and service technicians. Let's let's hire a couple. Staff, add, uh, janitors. Get one, two janitors, maybe three janitors. And then service technicians. Let's do one, two, three service technicians. Um, go here with service technicians and let's just give them a little bit of a train or two. How many do we have? We now have eight service technicians. Hopefully, hopefully that'll help things out a little bit. Okay, I want to move, okay, switch off the, the planning tool. Okay, and now, uh, run this, this thing a little closer. Uh, here we go. So run this somewhere over here, right, okay, and then we'll remove the rest of it. We will be uh, clearing all of these fences as we, as we continue this, this is just like to keep the animals over the runway over here. Now that's the case, so let's just add another two more over here, ooh, 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 forget, go to planning mode, or I forget that. Now grabbing this. Another two more on this side. What? There's a little section of fence right there. Okay, uh, do that one more time. Add up over there. Drop two on this side. Okay, so with that in mind, now we move that hanger over one more time. Is that... Oh. Why? Why like that? Why not like this? Four. And... Well... Like so. That's okay. This side, that's okay. I think that is pretty good. Now, what we'll do is we'll grab our service roads over here. 
I'm going to go on in time. This episode is almost done and we haven't done much in terms of planning. Uh, so we'll do that um, up to there at least. So there we go. So if we do this as our terminal structure, okay, this will be, I think this side is going to be pretty cool. And then we grab our plane stands yet again. Yeah, this is going to be our, our final like six large, large plane stands if we do it. Yep, absolutely like this. There we go. So that will be our terminal. We could come and add an extra one later, but I think what I'll do is we're going to run some tunnels underneath here. Oh, and then of course, let's just make sure that we get make you get our planning absolutely perfect with regards to um, our spacing. There we go. Um, yeah, so that's about five away. Okay, so five away will be that one there, I believe. Get me, get me this. Seven. Oh, that little pool can stay. That little pool can stay. Awesomeness. There we go. So that gives us maneuverability all the way around. Give me this so I just make sure we um, add our clearances. That guy's a little close, a little close. Do I move it over one more? I'm really tempted to move it over just one more. It should all fit really nicely. Okay, there we go. All good. Now, let's just make sure we've got our spacing again sorted out. There we go. Now, clear off all of this. So I'm just going to keep that in there for spacing. Yeah, that's better. It gives us five. This one, I think, gives us six. Potentially, I've squeezed it over by one. Um, but I think that's okay. What do we have on this side? Um, I think we are comfortable. I think we're comfortably clearing stuff here. There we go. Comfortably. If the fence goes out, I mean, that is the very end of it. If we wanted to move it over by just the one spot, I think it would probably work out for us if we do that. And then it's basically a one-way operation with two kind of hangers. We'll have one of these stands that's uh, that's that's basically allocated to um, to emergencies. So this is going to be our terminal, and obviously it'll have the floor upstairs from it. And at our bottom level, um, at our bottom level, we'll have bag multiple baggage bays, and I think our baggage bays will be two on each side maybe we need six All right so maybe uh, yeah maybe one here one here and then one here for these two and then we'll see how the rest of that works but look at that so this is slightly larger than i think we need so we could push this up a little bit and have a little tighter operation here and then have maybe a larger administrative facility or something but it's pretty tight and we can of course even expand that so if i let's just have a quick look at it uh we've got a few more minutes if we wanted to do another um another round of it so let's get out of the planning mode for a minute and just kind of sort out this fence a little bit so if i wanted to get my fence sorted out of there I'm gonna try what what I'm trying to do here is not get rid of the it's not get rid of the uh, the, the pool because I want to try and keep it um, try and work, try and work around it uh, for the most part 
so that we maintain a little bit of a natural looking airport. Otherwise it gets to be too square. So here I'm like almost, yeah, I've, I've tried to deal with, with what we've got and worked around it in a number of locations. These will have to go, that one can stay. Yeah, so if we do this again, go back to the planning tool um, and try and, now obviously this time around, something that we need to bear in mind is that we don't necessarily need um, any additional hangers, right? If we do that, um, obviously I won't, uh, won't mess it up over here, but just, just for sake of understanding where that's going to be, uh, we've, we've got a bit of an indication of where that outer line is. Uh, no, this is wrong. This is, is moved since. Here we go. That's all good. Now, um, let's see how much of this we can actually squeeze in. And bearing in mind, uh, actually, this whole setup here, we could potentially get rid of that. So that's not the end of the world. Now let's run. Oh man, that is so awesome. We can probably run up to there. Any further? If we if we get rid of this loop and we have them do that and we run how far away did we have these from one another? Basically seven blocks. Right? If we do the same thing over here, and we say three on that side, and then one and one, um, and that's obviously one away, we will be running uh, our seven down here. This is the absolute maximum we can do. Is that and if we if we if we if we get rid of that little section of loop there we can we can squeeze that by that might might just be what we need to do now what I'll do is I'll get rid of that that and that we'll maintain this one and then we'll see if we can't um, double up on this so if we go here can we do an extra an extra um, uh, set of the big ones um so there there and there ooh it's going to be tiny it's going to be a very tiny little slither there there and there so we could yeah we won't be able to do that if we do this That'll be really painfully small. So potentially we can bring this thing back this way and then just have the one, one of them here. Or, or I'm just thinking if we, the other option is get rid of these guys and we run them, hmm. Let's try something slightly different, which doesn't necessarily mean doubling up the entire operation. So uh, if we say, for instance, that, there, there, okay, that doesn't necessarily need to be there, then we can run whatever that size is. Let's see what, what, what is this size that we've run here, 16, so if we run 16, So if we run 16, we can do a very similar sized one here. And I and I don't mind it. I don't mind it. There and there. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. They can... We can move it up a little bit. Okay. Just to make sure that if the big guys come through here... Um, so if we do that, yeah, we'll, we'll move up the entire thing a little bit. 
we'll move it up a little bit. So let's clear that, clear that, clear that, clear that. Um, and now try that again. It's nice and green out there now. Spring, I think. Or autumn, spring, probably spring. Green leaf. Ooh, I for the minute thought I was building something instead of planning. Okay, so if we do that, instead, that's a little bit more room for vehicles to be coming up and down here. That's an extra little terminal slither. That should be sufficient. That should be, this should be more than sufficient. Um, and these two hangers should be fine. Um, we should be able to squeeze in an extra hanger on this side. Probably a little tight, but we should be able to do that. Or even even in here if we wanted to um, okay so that's that's all good all we need to do now is just make sure that this guy is how far away oh I need to end this episode uh, we'll do that right now after we finish some planning so this is two four six basically seven six seven two four six seven so then we can run it in there. So give me my, um, give me my my taxi way thingy. We'll bring that all back, and what we'll do is we'll run it here. And what that also means is we need. How far did we do? That was five away. One, two, three, four, five. Seven up there, and going up there, that's all good. And then we've got a little spot left over here if we wanted to bring in some more um, other bits and pieces and things. So that should be all good. Some agent service is saying something's wrong. That's okay, I don't mind. We'll clear that off, so there should be more than sufficient space around there. Is this thing weird in terms of how wide is this? That's seven. That's seven, so it's not weird, not weird at all. Let's put in our planning guidelines here. Mm -hmm. Put in our planning guidelines on this side so we can be clear on that. All good. Put in our planning guidelines over here. Uh, not there, over there. Okay, and over here, and over there. So that gives us a bit of an indication of what's going on with regards to the sizes for the large aircraft. And then the question really sits with whether we, um, how exactly we deal with this. But I think I like I like this setup, and I like the fact that we've got these um, these kind of terminal sections through here. Oh, it was there was an emergency. There we go. So this is the planning side of things or the major planning, the macro planning for our our large, large aircraft. And we can accommodate up to 10. So this will have two baggage bays, um, probably one on each side. And this will have a few. But yeah, this is really awesome. And then looping these big flights around there is going to be really cool. You need to make sure that there's plenty of room to drop people off and, and so on. We may see how we use this, um, and of course I want to do some parking and stuff in here. And I can probably do some immediate parking um, already on this side, and then the question could be whether I add some additional access to the airport. Um, the problem I have with this access is that it'll be an enormous amount of distance, but you don't necessarily need to travel that um, apart from for those, and that could become an issue. So we will probably need some additional um, fuel somewhere. So that could be our our fuel setup, or we can even have some fuel being set up in this particular area because there is a little bit of room um, over here. So if we, for instance, do that, right, we could. Yeah, we're not going to be be very good at at providing. Access, but we could we could maneuver um, some of this away a little bit, so that we'll we, we we see about providing better levels of access in here. We can we can see how we do that. 
Um, but yeah, certainly, certainly quite a quite a challenge. I don't think we're going to have medium flights go off here, so it's just going to be from the ends, um, and that's going to be all good. Yeah, I think that's that's going to be fine. Uh, we could we could run um, flights down here for this guy, and then run flights back up. Well, probably. Ooh, I'll have to see. I will have to see. It'll probably be best if we just run it. Uh, yeah, actually, we could even run it in here. Oh, that guy was in the hangar. Could even run it by the hangar on this side and run it in in there. Yeah, that that's something that could, could happen. That could happen. We could we could actually then make use of this with these um, stands as well. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not I'm not opposed. I'm not opposed. We'll have to keep an eye on that, guys. That's where we're going to leave it. A lot more planning. Um, money is looking pretty good, though the, it'll be chowed away really quickly with this stuff. Probably need a ton more. What is our current rate of income? So about twenty. Uh, hour. 12,000 per hour over an average 24 hourly hourly period. So that's really good, um, I think, for the time being, considering we don't have major large flights um, doing its thing. Let's have a quick look at our flight scheduler. Um, there seems to be a fair bit of stuff. Sky is still a remnant service, I would imagine. But yes, then we have an A5 over there ready to take on any emergency flights. Um, but yeah, all good. Got a bit of a GA parked in there. We can take that out. We don't necessarily need it, but we may add more GA stuff um, just to make sure that we're we're using the runways and and getting constant stuff in there. Ooh, that's an interesting one. Yeah, no, all good, all good. Um, so there we go. Thanks for watching, guys. If you've enjoyed, please hit that like button. If you've got some comments, please leave them down below. I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.